In this video, I want to talk about a few different creative ways that you could get that apocalyptic feel with your film photos. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Films More Fun Pandemic Edition. This whole virus thing, it's really it's not a laughing matter. It, it kind of sucks. Uh, our lives have been turned upside down. So I just want to preface the whole video with, you know, yes, I'm, I'm including a couple jokes and gags, and I'm, I'm making fun of a few things. My opinion is, you know, let's just keep a light heart and move forward. So I had a thought. So I'm listening to the news and, you know, some of these people that come on and, and are getting interviewed talk like this is the end of the world. Like it's, you know, a, some major apocalypse that's coming upon us. I, I don't believe that. OK, but it gave me a, an idea, you know, about apocalyptic photos. Like, how would it be to create an apocalyptic photo? I guess how can you create those those types of feelings or those types of vibes in your photos. And in this video, I wanted to just give a couple suggestions on ways that I think you can kind of get that vibe. So the first suggestion is underexposure film by a few stops. And this works both with black and white and with color. Um, you know, basically you'll notice that when you underexpose your film, your shadow details just gone, you know, or not, not gone per se, but it, it drops. Okay. And you know, once you hit a certain point, it just, it does leave. It's gone. Uh, now with black and white, I think in, in my personal opinion, I think it looks more consistent. Uh, if you're trying to shoot a couple shots in a row and you're, you know, say you're going for a series of shots or like a project that you want a cohesive feel to, uh, shooting underexposed color might be more of a problem because the color shifts uh, are, are going to change a little bit depending on your scene. So uh, it's something to keep in mind. But, you know, without that shadow detail, you just get a grimy feel, like a real dingy, dirty, grimy feel. Um, and of course, subject matter, you know, does come into play here, but you can make a lot of things look apocalyptic when you underexpose shots. Another option is souping your film. You know, some of these results that I've seen from souping my films, it, it just, it has that, I, I don't know, like almost a chemical kind of radioactive vibe to it. Uh, you know, still apocalyptic, still kind of dingy, grimy, uh, but it it's more unexpected because where you can control your your image a little bit more when you underexpose, I mean, there's a lot that you can't control when you soup. Um, it's a lot of, it's a lot of guessing, really. It's a lot of guessing, hoping, and just wishing for happy accidents. And my personal favorite is red scaling. Now, if you want that just all out, zombies are going to come and, and rip your face off kind of feel. Uh, and who wouldn't, right? I mean, that's a, that's a vibe of a picture there. Uh, but anyway, if that's what you're going for, then red scale your film. Now, depending on whether you're over or underexpose your film, you can get different, uh, different colors, you know, to kind of create a different type of a scene. You underexpose your film, you're going to get more of like a deep red. Uh, works really well in like city scenes and day after tomorrow, stuff like that. If you overexpose when you red scale, you're going to get more orangey and yellowy. Uh, really like a radioactive feel. But if anybody hasn't red scaled your film yet and you're into like alternative processing and whatnot, I totally would recommend it. It's, it's just a blast. It is. Now, bonus level is, you know, you can combine some of these methods with like multiple exposures or blocking the lens off in, in certain ways, uh, using some filters that you can screw on, like either splitters or uh, uh, image splitters, image multipliers. I mean, the, the possibilities are, are endless. Well, they're not really endless, but you know what I mean, right? The possibilities are a lot. Um, and I'd love to hear too, if, if you guys have some other ways that I didn't mention, you know, drop me a comment or shoot me a DM because, um, you know, I'm all about experimental photography. I like different vibes. Sometimes I'm, you know, into shooting kind of a apocalyptic vibe like this. Other times I'm like, like bunnies and, and you know, flowers and rainbows and, and crap like that. So, you know, I can shift depending on what kind of a project I'm, I'm going after. Um, but anyway, if you guys have ideas, you know, drop them below. I'd love to hear them. What's up, guys? In this video, <laughs> I keep laughing. 